Hello Augies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Debojit Acharje. Doesn't show any indication it came from India. It sounds kind of like an Indian name. I do get questions from them and they do watch the videos over there. So he says, Hi there, I saw your videos on YouTube, but I'm looking for something else. He does not give a call sign, by the way. I would like to build a loop antenna for receiving AM broadcast, medium wave and short wave. Please tell me the formula and the method using a variable capacitor. Okay, we're looking for the same kind of thing that we want with all other antennas, which is resonance. Now, the problem with using loop antennas, small loop antennas, for very long wavelengths is that they tend to have very high Q. And in fact, in some cases, they're so high Q that they won't receive the entire signal. You can get the low frequencies or the high frequencies or something like that. But loop antennas have a glorious history in AM. They've been built for a long time. Basically, you put a loop, a wire, multiple uh, for broadcast medium wave. You need to put multiple loops. And you can put a little across it, a tuning capacitor. Okay. Now, there are multiple ways to feed these, multiple ways to look at it. Let's go to the drawing board and see what we can find. So you've got a radio of some kind over here, and you want to feed it. They make available, these are available from a number of different sources. You can get them at DX Engineering, you can make your own. But what they are is a loop that's got a capacitor in it. Okay, and then there's a driver loop up here, and this is what goes down to the radio. Now, these are also useful for transmit. If you want to use one of these just to receive, you can do a lot differently. You can just put the loop, these are like a meter, one meter across, and you put a little capacitor right here, and then these are your leads that go to the radio, it's balanced antenna. And this little capacitor right here will find the resonance spot on here and will, through the miracle of resonance, will cause some amplification in the signal, okay? So that works. It's probably more along what you're looking for. Now, these antennas are made, the way they are actually made is there's a preamp and that goes right in there and then this comes out over here okay and the preamplifier makes this extremely broad band and you know leave out the capacitor and you have a very broad band antenna you can receive basically medium frequency to high frequency now this antenna is directional its pattern is actually off the ends and so on you can actually lay these over on the side and have a omni antenna okay so that goes to the radio now the expense comes in this the broadband part of that also part of the expense comes in shipping a, a loop like that some people actually do ship it in a great big box other people do it by giving you a piece of coax that you connect from here to here the shield on that acts as the uh, loop antenna or you can do an electrostatic shield and meaning grounding the shield and then using the interior the center conductor to do these you've got so many options now another way classic way of building a loop is to build a form you know, 30 centimeters by about 10 centimeters okay and make a coil form like this wind it with wire a piece of wire here wind it around and around and around and around and around and around and around and, around, and then come back here and then your capacitor which can be either in series or parallel so i'll draw the series style here and this side would be grounded so this goes to the chassis ground okay and then this goes into your rf amp and this is a variable capacitor and oft times this will be called something like antenna peak 
and you just turn it until you get the right capacitance. You're actually tuning this thing to a sort of resonance. Okay, these are very, very broadband, but not as broadband as those big loops that I told you about. So, formula, I don't know of any formula. Uh, this would be for broadcast band. If you're going for like a upper medium wave and lower short wave, you can take a piece of coax three feet in diameter. Now keep going like this. You can put in a tunable capacitor in one of the legs like this and then take these off like this or do the separate loop that will work too and these are best for like 160 meters 80 meters and so on when you get to 40 meters and on up you generally want a single loop okay single loop all right now, who makes these things? Uh, MFJ, but they're going out of business. There's a number of European, these are very popular in Europe because they have very strict, uh, the equivalent of the HOAs over there. I mean, they, it's hard to tell the difference between an HOA and the government, but they're very strict. So these antennas are very popular in uh, Europe and can be used both for transmitting and receiving or just receiving. Note that the loop that stands vertically is directional. It has a null right through the center of the loop and it comes off the ends of the loops where you get most. Or you can lay the thing down flat and then the null is straight up, straight down, but you get a complete omnidirectional coverage. The thing about uh, these kinds of antennas is that they can be stinkers to tune if you are getting the kind that will transmit also. If you're getting the kind that will receive, such as the one by MFJ, W6LVP, and DX Engineering has a couple others. Other people are getting into this business. The thing will work in either way that you go. I would suggest if you don't want to make one of these exotic things, just do a few loops on a form about this big and put a small capacitor like 0 to 20 picofarads or something like that down on it or whatever tuning capacitor you can connecting it to your radio and I think you'll have results. Okay, you'll have results. So there you have it. We've talked about loops and we've looped back and forth and through it all. And until we next meet, 73.